So in my opinion, Utah is a great place to live, but it may not be for everyone. So on this video, I'm going to cover the top 10 reasons why people cross Utah off the list. So let's get after it right now. Welcome to the Living in Utah channel. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a local real estate agent. And if you want to learn everything about the state of Utah, eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, you've come to the right channel. You may consider tapping that subscribe button down below and hitting that bell notification. YouTube will send you an alert every time I release a new video, and that's every week. And apart from making videos, I also help people buy or sell real estate. So if I can be of any assistance, I'll put my contact information on the screen. It'll also be down in the show notes. So I communicate with hundreds, maybe thousands of individuals that are potentially looking to make a move to the state of Utah. Now, some people, they love the state. Others cross Utah right off the list. So I have a question for you. Is there a place in the United States that would suit everyone's needs? I would love to know in the comments down below. So coming in at number 10 on my list, some people, they just can't find the right house. Whether they're renting or buying, they get in their car, they look around, maybe they can't find the right size, the right price, the right location. Maybe they want to be in the mountains and it is out of their price range. They just can't find that ideal home in the state of Utah sometimes. Then we have inventory issues. If you're buying a home, we are lacking inventory. There's a lot of demand for homes. And we do not quite have enough inventory. And if you're looking for a rental, well, there's plenty of apartments. And everywhere I go, there's brand new apartments being built, opening soon, coming, available. But if you're looking for a single family home, the selection is a little bit thinner, a little tougher to find homes, especially if you are looking for a certain neighborhood or maybe you would like your kids to go to a certain school. It might be a little more difficult to find a home in those areas. Coming in at number nine, the weather. Whether you decide to live in the southern part of the state or the northern part of the state, there are challenges with the weather. <laughs> the southern part of the state predominantly say the St. George area, they receive very little snow during the winter months, but during the summer months, it's not uncommon to have 110, 115 degree days. It does get very, very warm. The northern part of the state, summer temperatures are a little bit cooler, but during the winter months, we do receive snow. It depends on where you live in the northern part of the state as to how much snow you will get. The higher up the mountain or on top of the mountain, you will receive more snow than down in the valley. So if you're coming from an area like San Diego or Hawaii or many other locations, some people do not like the weather here in Utah. Coming at number eight, the state of Utah may be too conservative for some individuals. Yes, we are a very conservative state, especially in the northern part of the state. It is not uncommon to see flags out of the back of people's pickup trucks or messages on the back of a pickup truck or even some vehicles with flags that is protesting the current president. Also, you'll see bumper stickers that is against the current president that we have in office. You'll also see many gun rights stickers, the right to bear arms. We are a very conservative state. Coming in at number seven on the list. Sometimes people can't find a deal on a home. They're looking for that home that's $50,000, $100,000 off asking price. Maybe a home that's been sitting on the market for a year or two or a home that has an outdated interior that needs a new kitchen. But right now we have a big demand for housing and people are swooping up just about any home that they can. So when individuals can't find that great deal on a home, sometimes they get disappointed and they cross Utah off the list. Now, I think we are still affordable when you compare us to some of the major cities in the West Coast. Coming at number six on the list, I'm going to call this one bars and strip clubs. I know some people think that there are no bars in the state of Utah. Well, that's not true. We do have bars and we do have strip clubs. But if you were to rank each state by the amount of bars and strip clubs per population, 
I would imagine Utah would be towards the bottom of the list when I think of states like Florida, Texas, Arizona, Nevada, California. They outnumber us probably 10 to 1, 20 to 1, maybe 30 to 1 when we're talking about an area like Las Vegas. So we do have bars and strip clubs, but nowhere near the amount that some other states have. Coming in at number five, the growth and traffic. There was a time when Utah was a lot, lot quieter. I can remember back in, say, the late 80s, early 90s, I remember we pretty much had four major cities. Ogden, Salt Lake City, Provo, and St. George. In between, there was a lot of smaller towns. And in northern Utah, most people lived east of the freeway. The west side of the freeway in a lot of areas was typically farmland. You would go out there to be a lot of farms, um, farm homes. Most people lived to the east. Now, those areas are being developed and the growth and traffic has just exploded. There was a time you could just drive to Salt Lake City, no traffic at all. Now you have to get on the phone and see if there's any accidents. Can you take a different route? Some people do not like the growth and traffic that has occurred in Utah, across Utah, off the list. And coming in at number four on the list, we have very few professional sports teams. We do have some. When it comes to basketball, we have the Utah Jazz. When it comes to Major League Soccer, we have Real Salt Lake. No baseball, no hockey, no professional football. But Salt Lake City is working on bringing baseball to Salt Lake. Not too sure how that's going to pan out. The owner of the Utah Jazz has made a public statement stating that he is trying to bring hockey to Salt Lake City. We'll have to see how that pans out. What Utah is known for is clean living and outdoor activities. You named outdoor activity, we probably have it in the state of Utah. Coming to number three on the list, we like to speak our mind. Let's say you're on your cell phone in a store. Don't be surprised if the store clerk or someone else tells you to please hang up the phone or take the call outside. When it comes to out-of-state license plates, I have heard instances where you'll be in a parking lot and someone walks by, you're getting out of your car and they notice you have a California or Washington license plate or whatever state. Some people in Utah, they'll speak their mind and tell you, please go back to your state. Coming in at number two, altitude. Mostly in northern Utah, this is sometimes called mountain sickness. Let's say you come from a lower elevation, places like San Diego. Your body may not be accustomed to higher altitudes. You may experience mild headaches, fatigue, feeling sick, shortness of breath, so some people will cross Utah off of the list. Some of these symptoms may be temporary. Your body may get used to it. In other cases, sometimes people do not get used to the higher altitude. Coming at number one on the list, single life. We are a family-oriented state. We are much different than areas like Miami, Las Vegas, LA, San Diego. You will find Many people in the state are married, and a lot of the local activities are geared towards children. There's not much offered for adults in the state. There's a big focus on family activities, and there's a lot to do with families. You can go camping, hiking, mountain biking, fishing, and many more items. Those are some of the popular items. Take the whole family. Now, we do have single people living in the state, but if you were to take a poll, you would probably notice that we have more individuals that are married than single. So in conclusion, that is some of the top reasons why people check Utah off of the list. If you have any kind of questions, by all means, reach out to me. Glad to answer anything that I can. And until the next video, take care and stay safe.